Hey guys, it's Misty. So I'm back again in our beginner series and we have already learned in this series um, how to do a slip knot and a chain and we've learned how to do a single crochet and a double crochet. And now we're going to move on and learn how to do the treble crochet. It's just like any other stitch. It's just a matter of how many loops and how many times you go through. Okay. So, when we did our single crochet, uh, we skipped this first loop. All right. And when we did our double crochet, we skipped both of these loops. And now we are going to skip all three of these loops. Okay, so we're going to skip the first one, the second one, and the third one. And we are going to be crocheting into this fourth chain from the hook. Also, just like with the double crochet, we yarn over. Well, this time we're going to yarn over and then we're going to do it again. So we're going to yarn over twice to do the treble crochet. Okay, so right here is our fourth chain, and we are going to go right in there, just like always, and we're going to yarn over, and we're going to draw up a loop. And now let's pull that loop up so we can see what we're doing, okay? So right now, we have four loops on our hook. Here's our first one. Here is where we yarned over twice, and here is that loop we just drew up. All right, so to do this treble crochet, we are going to come and yarn over just like always, and we're going to pull through these first two, just like you're doing a double crochet, just pull through those first two loops on your hook. And now we have three loops left. We're going to yarn over and we are going to pull through the second two loops on our hook. Okay, and now you have two loops left. We're going to yarn over and you guessed it, we're going to pull through those last two loops. So it's just like a double crochet, it's literally just double the double. Okay, so we're going to yarn over once and then we're going to yarn over twice, okay? Then we're going to find our next stitch. Now you can see this is our open up stitch. This is where we've been. So this one right beside of it, this is where we're going. Okay, so put your hook right through that chain, yarn over, and draw up your loop. There's your four loops on your hook, okay? So yarn over, pull through those first two loops. Yarn over, pull through the next two loops. Yarn over and pull through the last two loops. Look at how long this stitch is, right? I mean, it's not a stitch that we use like it's not the most common stitch we use, uh, but it can really cover some distance if you're wanting to go fast, because um, it's a pretty long stitch. So right here is our next stitch. Right here is our next chain on the hook, right? So we're going to yarn over twice and go right into that next chain and yarn over and draw up a loop and pull it up so that we can see it. Don't worry about keeping it too tight. Yarn over, and I'm pulling that stitch down so I can really get in there and keep it loose, okay? So yarn over and pull through those first two loops, and now I'm pulling it down again. Yarn over, pull through the next two loops, and now I'm pulling it down again. I'm keeping my stitches sort of loose and open so I can see what I'm doing. Yarn over and pull through those last two loops. Okay? It's really simple. 
This is a fast moving stitch and like I said, it covers a lot of ground. Now, anytime we're pulling down on a stitch or we're trying to open it up and make it look bigger, when we get finished with it, literally you can take your chain and just pull like that and it'll straighten itself right back out, okay? So let's yarn over twice and do the next one. Right here's where we're going. Into that chain, yarn over, pull through. There's our four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over, pull through the second two loops. Also, if you notice, I'm not just pulling down on the stitch, I'm coming up to the next stitch and pulling down, right? Just to make it clear what I'm doing. Yarn over and pull through the last two loops. Now, just straighten your stitches out. They're just fine. So yarn over twice. Here's our next chain. We're going to go right in there, yarn over, pull through that chain and pull up your loop. There's your four loops. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over and pull through two. Okay? and yarn over twice. Into that next chain, yarn over and draw up your loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Now we're down here to our last little chain there. Okay, so yarn over twice and go right in there in front of the knot and draw up your loop. Pull it up. Yarn over, draw through two. Yarn over, draw through two. Yarn over and draw through two. Now, we've completed our first row of treble crochets. So this first one here, we're not counting that as a stitch. All right, here's our first official stitch. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember, we skipped the first three. So we have seven stitches. If we count up here on our Bs, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And right here, that's where our last stitch on our next row is going to be. Okay, right here where this attaches. So, let's do row number two. So we're going to chain up three times. One, two, and three. And remember, that is not a stitch. That's just bringing us up to the right height. And let's turn our work. Our first stitch is going in to this very first V that's coming off of our chain. Right there. You see that? So, yarn over twice. And we're going in to our first official stitch into the V. Okay? And then grabbing that yarn and pulling it up. Pulling up our loop. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. All right, now yarn over twice. Right here's our next stitch, okay? We're gonna go right down just like with a single or a double. Right here's our Bs, okay? We're gonna go right in there and we're gonna yarn over and pull up our loop. Yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, and draw through two. And here's our next one. So yarn over twice and go right in there under your V's. Yarn over and draw up your loop. We've got our four loops on our hook now. Yarn over, draw through two. Yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, and draw through two. Yarn over twice. 
there's our very next stitch going right in there under our V's. Yarn over and draw up a loop. There's our four loops on our hook. Yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, and draw through two. All right, we've only got a few more left here, so yarn over twice, in under the V's, draw up your loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Here is our next to the last one. Yarn over, right there's our stitch. Go right in under those V's. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And here is our very last stitch right here at the top of that chain three right over that very first real stitch, okay? So, yarn over twice, go right there under that V. Yarn over, draw up your loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Okay? So, there we are with two rows of treble crochet. All right? So, I really love the look of that, like in the middle. I just love to look at how stitches come together. I think it's really quite beautiful. So thank you so much for being here with me. Just don't forget to go out and do something that you love today. Okay, always remember to take care of yourself. And until next time, guys, bye-bye.